all get dough I can't get no sleep, which make my life more simple But I wouldn't trade a thing for what I have I go hard, do what I need to make it last They say the good die young, I hope I'm bad Cheers. You all think I play around when I'm talking about making a breakfast This is me, right? This is my specialty, my pancakes I, I didn't put juice in, I forget. But again, this is a seitan chickpea flour mixed with a little baking powder. That's it. Pancake it up, little berries, and then we got this uh, yummy, yummy whipped cream. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to watch the, this isn't a vlog from that. We're going to watch the vlog, we're going to have our pancakes, and we're going to head down there. We're going to have a little bit of a rush. All right, morning, morning. Still watching the vlog. Um, but I had an idea. We had this idea a couple, uh, a couple days ago, and I was thinking about it. As you see, this is it, okay? This is the broken selfie stick, the infamous stick that fell to the ground. You know what I'm what I'm thinking about doing? And in the comments down below, if you can help sort of come up with some ideas for me, I'm thinking about auctioning this guy off, okay? To the to the highest bidder for charity, okay? So we'll do it for charity. And we the, the, what I want you to tell me is, what do you think would be a fun charity in relation to what we did? Like, you know, I don't know, Anger Management USA, of Anger Management of America, I don't know. You tell me in the comments down below. Oh! All right, driving video day two, Poker Players Championship, everybody's favorite event that plays mixed games for real. I mean, it is the one you, it is the main event for mixed game players, crowning the best all around this year. It is nine game rather than eight. Holy shit, it's green. Come on, baby. Come on, do this. Do this one time. Day two, day two. Oh yeah, it's yellow. It's yellow, I'm going. Yellow, yes. Woo, mark it down, three for whatever. Batting average going up. That's like, we made it today, almost made it yesterday, and made it the day before. What, what kind of a hot run are we on right now? We're running like fire. This is great. All right, so PPC, day two, 50K buy-in, everyone's favorite. This year, as I said, it's nine game, which adds deuces seven uh, single draw to the mix, which is fine by me. Um, I like all nine games. I, uh, what's going on over here? A lot of flags. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to play, guys. And you know, uh, here's the thing about the World Series of Poker. You, you gotta find a way to get back up. You see this right here? You see that? You see this is Cut Me Mick? You know who that is? This is the guy who won. Look at his face. Look at his face. He won the fight. He won the fight. Yo, Adrian! Right? But he had to go through the lumps and the bruises. You think Rocky and all those movies, they, they play a big role in my, in my life ever since childhood. If you want shirts like this and a whole bunch of other ones, contendersclothing.com. Ding! Um, but seriously, I love them. They're my favorite. Um, but yeah, no, the Rocky things, you know, like, I don't know, I was telling my wife this the other day, but it's the first film I ever saw in the theater with my father. And I have very fond memories of it because I remember I was just, what was I, like five or six years old and we walked to the movies and then on the way back, you know, my dad, when we would walk, he would always carry me on his shoulders, right? So when my legs are round him like that, he would carry me. And so you picture me after the Rocky movie, this little spunky kid with a lot of energy, you know, doing knees, flexing all the time and going like this, rah, 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 punching. And I remember like after seeing the movie, I was like, I want to be a boxer. Instead, I ended up playing poker, which is much safer. Unless, unless you're around somebody with a selfie stick. Oh no, oh no. What if they break it? Ah, I might be traumatized for the rest of my life because the selfish stick's on the floor, but it was in his hand and on the table. Oh no, oh no. What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? <laughs> All right, while we are stuck in some goofy traffic, this is why I leave early. This is why I leave early. It's 1.30, the tournament starts at two. I'll make it, but if I would have been like those people who show up last minute, I'd maybe missing hands right now. At a table, let's take a look at our table while I'm sitting here doing nothing. At our table today, we've got a tough one. We've got Phil Ivey, dun dun dun, Luke Schwartz, Anthony Zeno, again, ODB, David Baker, yours truly, and then Adam Friedman. And uh, yeah, yeah that's, a, that's a pretty bad table overall for a lot of reasons, but. Tough one, okay, so but that's okay. They're gonna be tough in a 50K nine game. So we bring the A game from hand numero uno. Shit, it was 99 cents. I get copping it, washing it. About to go and get some compliments. Passing up on those moccasins. Someone else has been walking in. But me and grungy fucking men. I am stunting and flossing and saving my money. Uh, it was the only hand I was curious the entire time. You had a board of four check, nine, eight. I king, queen, ten. 
you really asking him to remember a hand? What? <laughs> you did? I bluffed you that hand. That's what's up. <laughs> you almost had to because I had like the perfect cards to. And the problem is, I know that's the spot I would bluff. There we go. Something else. Like, I know Phil's one of the other people staying on the same this lines one, I am. Right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. Luke Schwartz. I even said this has to be. Do you wait a minute? I'm sorry. You almost looked in my eyes, didn't you? You know what? You know what that that garners you? Fucking throat grab. Oh shit! I hit you in the nose. Oh, <laughs> you hit me back. Assault. Careful, Assault. Careful. Ben Lamb. <laughs> huh? Man in That's what's up. Well, you, are you looking at me? Yeah. Are you sure? At you. Oh one shit! He's a doll. Oh my god. You know how thick this selfie stick is? This does damage, bro. Yeah, I've seen what you I do got with you. That thing too, buddy. Huh? Right. <laughs> a little unsafe here. Yeah, everybody's unsafe. Everybody's scared now. Good. Here we are in the 50K, and we have a question. Oh, shit, he's in a pot. I don't want to bother him. I don't want to bother him. Did you win, Alan? All right, well, what's bothering you today, buddy? Um, I don't know. I'm in a good mood today. Pizza. You're in a good mood? His $9 yeah. pizza. His $9 pizza. Sucked. How much did you pay for pizza? That was a week ago, a couple weeks ago. But I, I asked him what the Sparrow pizza cost because it's actually better than the $9 pizza that I got over here. And how much is the Sparrow pizza? I don't know. We're going to find out on the break. Though. Less than nine? We're going to have to find that out, and you're going to post yeah. that. Yeah, that, I mean, that... Uh, I sent you the, the link to that guy's YouTube video. He that was funny. The mutilated body of well-known mincasher and professional soda thief Alan Kessler was found today. Police state he was cut up with a chainsaw and are asking the poker-playing public to come forward with any information that may lead to an arrest. Uh, I just wanted to say that the rumors of my death are exaggerated. <laughs> That's funny. All right, good start. We're up over 500K, and more importantly, we got moved away from that really bad table that we were at there. New table set up, um, nice, and uh, I'm gonna tell you about two hands. What's up, son? Two hands, two hands we're gonna tell you about in the steam room. One against the legend, Mr. Phil Ivey, who is so good. I'm telling you, like, you know, like a lot of people when they play these mixed tournaments, they, uh, they like to, uh, shit, I gotta run. I'm gonna run, run through this one. <laughs> <laughs> they uh, do these mixed terms. They like pay attention to the big bet and they don't pay attention in the stud. He's focused like nobody I've ever seen ever in poker. Like he's focusing on everything. He sees everything. He sees. <laughs> he sees everything. I'm telling you. Okay, well, let's talk about a hand here. Miss the crowd. Yes. <laughs> All right. As promised, we've got two hands. Two hands to talk about, and they're both from big bet because you know limit ones or whatever. So, as I said, Phil Ivey pays attention to everything, so when you play with him, you gotta be on. You gotta really focus on everything you do because he's watching. He's just watching you, okay? All these people talk about that. He was legit, okay? He's the best. I wish I could focus like him. I, I don't have that gene. Fuck, where did I put that? Oh, man. What am I doing here? Oh, there it is. Okay. I can't lose my room key. Okay. So, what did I just do? All right. So, here we go. Let's do the hand breakdown. Blinds are 1,500, 3,000 with uh, 4,500 dead. Big blind Annie. And I'm on the button with in No Limit Hold'em with Jack-9. I have a heart and a diamond. I make it 8,000. Phil Ivey defends from the big. Flop is seven five three. Two spades, one heart. I have nothing. He checks. I bet 12,000. He calls really wide from the big blind. So he could have a lot of hands that just fold here. Just be like, whatever. And if not, you know, we could still have some plans. I bet 12,000. He calls the 12. The turn is a 6. So now I have a gut shot with the 8. I block 8-9. Um, but it makes a four liner, so any four makes a straight. So if I had a four, once he checks, I'd probably go for half pot in this spot, which is what I do, 22,000, and Bill Ivey calls. River's a 10, he checks, and at this point, I don't have a spade in my hand, so I have like the bottom of my range, I can't have much, can I have a hand worse than Jack High here? Probably not. Do I have a hand that unblocks all the hands that he continues with on the turn that missed? I do. I don't have a, a spade in my hand, I don't have, you know, any of those key cards. And I do block the eight nine, as I said. So I bet 65,000, he snap called me and he had the king four. So he had the straight, king four offsuit is what he called me with. All right, so we lost that pot, but you know, we're fighting. It's just like, you know, lesson one, don't try to bluff Phil Ivey, especially when he has a straight. Well, whatever. The next one's PLO, 1,500, 3,000. Um, the hand previous 
Rizino raised, I potted it on the button with six, seven, eight, nine, double suited. So you're gonna, you can only, you're, when you're this deep, you can't just pot aces only. So I potted that, he folded. The very next hand, he limps for 3,000. This time I have the ace of diamonds, ace of spades, jack of hearts, three of spades, and I make it 13-5 pot. He calls. The flop is king, nine, seven, two diamonds, one club. We have the ace of diamonds, which is always important in PLO. He checks, we bet 17,000, he calls. Now we're concerned. That's a very, it's a board that smashes his calling range. The eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, tens, the jack, you know, all that stuff. So the turn is a deuce of clubs, brings back door clubs. He checks. I thought about it for a while and I elected to just check back, okay? Um, I don't have a club in my hand either, right? River's the five of diamonds. So now I'm, he checks and I'm pretty dead. I'm pretty sure I'm beat, right? I mean, what do I beat? I don't beat six, eight. I don't beat two pair. I don't beat any diamonds. I don't beat nothing, right? So my aces are not winnable. I don't, I don't think my aces have enough showdown value. And I have the blocker, the key blocker. So we go big. We bet 60,000 on the river. He thought for quite a long time, clearly had us beat. And he laid that one down. So we're at 500,000, a much better table, much better situation with uh, the tough player at their table being Macho Man Randy Savage, which you saw yesterday, dominating. But today he's just wearing normal clothes, so he's back to being just the jungle man. What I need to know, Alan, is how did you draw this table for the 50K Poker Players Championship? Huh? Who are these this guys? This guy's gambling. This guy's former this player This is the 50K? Year. Yeah, he's former player You're in the 50K. Year. <laughs> what is this tournament? PLA. Oh, God. No wonder. Okay. Because I'm like, ooh, this is a good table for you, Alan. You got this. <laughs> All right. So we're full today. That means the PLO8 people come in here. And then we got ours and whatever else over here. All right. Alan has summoned me. He has something to say to the people. I officially quit the 50K on a high note. I made the final table the last time I played it, and I quit. That's it? Yeah. All right. And no drama. No drama t-shirt today. No drama. Thank you, Lisa, for the shirt. There you go. All right, going on second break of the day. Oh, no, I keep knocking that, guys. <laughs> okay, 418.5, just that last round of study. Still doing good. Fine shape. Um, really, really good. Um, lost like, got butchered in study. Lost like every hand to this one guy. Buried, I had ace, ace, deuce in one four-way pot. Buried aces, too. And uh, the guy made a straight right away. Boom. So, all right. We good. We good. We're going back to playing uh, a eight and 16,000 next. You know? Long way to go to the finish line. This is a five-day event. Still, late registration is open. Phil uh, Helmuth has not arrived yet. But we expect to see him soon. Don't, 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 don't. Dun, 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 Did the pizza arrive? Yeah. All right, we gonna have some pizza. Thanks, Patty. All right, all you guys, oh, it's so hard to be vegan. What do you eat? What can you eat? Look at this thing, okay? Look at the size of this thing. This is bigger than my, well, this is big, and this is this is gonna be a feat, okay? Oh my word. Vegan pepperoni hippie pizza from Evil Pie. This one is no joke. Hey, Donnie Peters, does this look like good pizza to you? Because it's damn good. Extra pepper. You put extra pepperoni, didn't you? Yeah. I'll take it. Mm hmm. I'm going to inhale this in one bite. to the club like what up i got a big cock i'm just pumped i bought some shit from a thrift Whoa. shop ice on the fringe is so damn frosty the people like damn that's a cold ass honky rolling in hella deep headed to the mezzanine Trust all me. right we're back at phil's table as you saw we just moved there after kind of a little bit of a bloodbath in that last level we got up to 600 and then went straight down we were all the way down to 200,000. we're sitting on 335 or whatever above starting stack uh we'll be playing 10 and 20 000. Uh, after the break, so it's 15, 16 big bets, plenty. Uh, what did I lose, man? I lost a uh, one to Robbins Rocky, limit hold him, ace, king of spades, against ace six on 10, eight, six, two spades, turn an eight, so now I can catch an ace, king, 10, spade, and river queen, missed that one, and I lost, I lost a pretty decent PLO hand, lost a bunch of limit hold hands. Oh, this one hurt. Stud eight hand, I had kings and fives against the guy who had on sixth street, he had the low on six, 
and like had two outs to scoop, which was a three. He had two threes. He nailed the three and made three threes with an eight, so that one really stung. But we're fighting, we're gonna fight tough. Just like Rocky says, it's not how hard you hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Right. You know, secretly, you know what's great for poker? This man re-entering the arena. Strong, svelte, right? We was, I was saying, what's real good for poker? It's Phil Ivey back in the game. Right? Grinding. Not throwing shit. <laughs> Keeping it cool. Build, build them, build and making them. people feel safe. Oh, you and your I took him out, too. <laughs> I've been known to yeah. fuck shit up. It's really good. To, it's fun to play with my buddy. It's been many, many years. We go way, way back. He's still the same. He's still stacking pots. Look at that right there, huh? Say hi to the people out there in the vlog world. Huh? Hello. How often do you watch the vlog? Is it every day? You wake up first thing, you have your coffee first, or you watch the vlog first? I've never seen it. No kidding, no kidding. No kidding, you never saw it. This guy. It's a fun group we got here. We got Ben Lamb, we got Phil Ivey. Ben, he's telling golf stories about playing with this guy, and they're in a pot, fighting, going to war. And apparently, Phil went to his course, Southern Highland, which he owns, and bought a cat. Well, I don't know. He tells the story better. I don't want to ruin it. But <laughs> having fun telling some old golf stories. Louis in the house. He couldn't prepare today. What do you got going on here, bro? You got it all. What's that? Is that worth baby? This is more than $300, I bet. What's that? $400? Well, is that $700? No, that's how hey, much this one was. That's how much this one was. That was like $1,100. Five bucks? No way. He comes with the style. Huh? comes with the style. Uh, we're having a grand old time here at the 50K PPC with the boys and whatnot. And look who's back. Yeah, she's back. She's a busy woman now. See, ever since the vlog, what happened is now she's so big time. She got a list, right? She's like, oh, I can punch. What day is today? Monday? I can punch you in for Friday for seven minutes between 6.15 p.m. and 6.22. I don't know. We'll see. We'll put you on the list. She's busy. You know, that's because of the vlog. 100%, right? And I don't even get my cut. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. All right, good level there. We got 510,000. We dipped a little bit. There's a stud eight hand. We don't do a lot of like stud breakdowns, but let's let's see how we do here with this one. Okay, we're gonna do a little simple. Oh boy, here they come. Here they come. Look at them. Look at them. Here they come. Here she comes. You see? You see? She's coming. She's coming. I knew she was coming. But I knew. I knew you were coming for me. I'm coming. Thank you. Okay, what I do? My mom and dad's 50th birthday, you wrote them a beautiful letter. Yeah, you said it was better than winning poker or something about Aww. it. But that was quite a while ago. Okay, we can stop it. Okay, for so here's the deal. I'm going to tell you in the steam room about this hand, but in the meantime, okay. you're going to be like this. <laughs> I'm going to get a picture of you. Yeah, let's hear it. Let's hear the hand. Okay. Oh, it's, it's, you'll have to watch the vlog. Like you'll have to watch okay, it on the vlog. Okay. Can you, can you say something, Donna? Donna. Like hey, Donna, how you doing? We missed you at the World Series of Poker this year. Maybe next year I'll play you in a big 50k tournament or something like that. <laughs> Thank you so You got much. it. Yeah. See ya. One All right. right. <laughs> Sounds good. Thanks, Cheers. Man. You got it, bud. All right. Off to the steam room. Hey, yeah, let's get a picture. Why not? We've almost walked five steps. Right, right, right. Yeah. <laughs> you got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Seriously, you got it, bud. Okay. Uh, hey, how's it going? Yeah, why not? Why the hell not? Huh? These hallways are great. See, dinner break, no problem. Because I got time. You know what I mean? We can hang with the people. Relax. I'm not running. You know? All right. Let's do a stud eight breakdown. I don't even need notes. It's all up here. I remember every card. Good to go. Okay. The game is stud eight or better. The limits are 10,000, 20,000. Michael Mazraki brings it in with the five of clubs. Folds around to me. I've got the ace of hearts up, ace of spades, and ten of clubs in the hole. I know the suits. I'm, I'm fucking zoned in. I go ahead and raise to ten. He, I didn't. I was raising from middle, middle position. He three bets. He re-raises to twenty thousand with the five of clubs. So that can be three fives. That could be a three card flush hand. That could be three card straight, three card wheel card with an ace. It could be aces as well. Right? That's about it, though. That's not, like, see, that's the thing about stud eight. You can really narrow somebody's range down pretty good. And when he re-raises there, that's pretty much it, okay? So, on 4th Street, he catches the Jack of Diamonds. Beautiful. That can't help him, right? We know that because of the range we put him on. If he's got three fives, he's already got us. We catch the eight of diamonds. So our board is ace of hearts, eight of diamonds now. So now that we have the low board showing, because I didn't re-raise with the aces. I, I slow played it. 
So that way I can protect my range, you know, because I'm not going to be re-raising on Third Street a, a whole bunch with the ace. So, you know, when I when I have the aces, it's important not to do it too all the time. But once I catch the eight and he catches the jack, that's an automatic bet for me no matter what I have. So I bet he calls. Now he catches the nine of clubs, total brick, unless he's got the clubs in the hole, which is very possible. I catch the six of diamonds. So my board looks low. Ace, eight, six. Beautiful, right? He call. I bet, of course, with the ace, eight, six, he calls with the five, jack, nine, two clubs. Okay. But maybe he's got the flush drop. I've got, you know, we'll see. So on six street, I catch the jack of clubs. He catches the four of diamonds. So now his board is two-tone, two clubs, two diamonds. He starts with the club, to cut a club on five, and he cut back to it. So I bet he raises me. It's like, oh my God, like it's a really tough spot now because what the hell is he raising me with? Now it looks like he's got the rolled up fives, right? Because what other hand does it make sense for him to raise me with when I'm already showing the low? You know, if he just has aces, like, I mean, he could be getting free rolled. He's not going to just raise with just aces, right? So the question is, it's grinder, right? And we're deep and the grinder can... I just, I, I don't think most people would do this, but I think he, and I think if you asked around, he would be the type of guy that would have like a four straight four flush here and a low draw and raise it just for the fuck of it. Just because he loves his hand so much. Boom. If he had, let's say, for example, you know, ace three of clubs in the hole or, you know, six, seven of clubs, open his, you know, anything. I think he may do that, right? But if, he, if I don't think he ever does that, I could actually just probably fold because what the hell do I beat? He doesn't have jacks and nines. He doesn't have any two pair hands. So I'm pretty dead, right? But I decide to call because it's grinder. And on the end, I check blind. He bets. At this point, I didn't even look at my last card. There's no point. I call. You know what he had in the hole? Aces. So we're winning on 6th Street because his board is 4-5, jack-9. My board is jack-10, 8-6. So I have aces with a jack-10. He has aces with a jack-9, right? But wah, wah. He caught a nine on the end, so he made aces and nines. And then we had a squeeze, squeezed out a seven, total brick. Um, but yeah, really kind of an incredibly tricky spot. For you mixed game players, I think you're gonna look at that one and agree with me, right? Like, as played, when he re-raised on three, but then ultimately your decision comes down to, well, it is the grinder after all. Anyways, guys, it's gonna be nap time. I'm gonna put that pizza away. We already put a few slices away. And then we're gonna do, I'm doing coffees later for that late rush. I feel like it hasn't been affecting my sleep as much. So I've only had one today and I'm saving the second one for post nap. All right, quick nap. We didn't nap too long. I've been reminiscing and the guy next door to me, the guy next door to me is making the, I don't know what he's got in there. Okay, Mr. Ivy, but it's like, whoosh, 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 whoosh. I think that I, I, can't, I can't imagine what that is, but it's, um, it's like some exercise equipment or I don't know what the hell, man. It's loud. Whatever. Anyway, sort of laying here reminiscing and thinking about, you know, Phil Ivey in general and like, you know, how, how, how far we go back and how like I'm not ashamed to say like I'm a huge fan of his, right? I'm a big poker fan in general and I'm a player and I know that I have people that feel that way about me, but I, you know, I feel that way about my buddy. You know, he's, he's the greatest that ever played as far as I'm concerned and playing with him is a pleasure and an honor and being just like associated with him in any way it feels that way it always did to me you know even way back and uh it makes me think of like the you know the show winning time in the old days of like magic johnson and larry bird and how they spoke of each other in like they needed each other kind of thing and when ivy was gone for a few years it really did feel like there was something missing about the world series of poker and this isn't akin to me saying you know well, I think in that, I would, I'm not the Larry Bird. He'd be the Larry Bird. I'm definitely the Magic, despite the skin tone, right? Like, you, know, you get it. Magic's like, yeah, what's up? Larry Bird's like, get that camera out my face, you know? But, you know, it just, yeah, we came up at the same time. We've been in the game at the same time. He obviously, his life went a different way for a while. And now to see him back and dominating the way that he is, it's so good for, like, poker, in my opinion. You know? I think it, uh... It's great to see. You want to see someone who's amazing at their craft doing it. And I get a front row seat because I'm sitting right next to him trying not to get annihilated by the guy, you know, staying out of his way a little bit. Okay, second coffee, back to work. We come out of the woodworks for this one. We got a new table. We got moved over to Phil Ivey. And now, so what happens in these tournaments sometimes, you got guys who play one game and now they think they can play nine. And this is, <laughs> you knew I was coming for you, right? 
That's MJ, okay? You know this is nine game, right? I thought it was three game. Okay, did you, you had a hand earlier. I think it was reported incorrectly. That you moved in 400,000 and you had queen eight? No. So, JRV opens button to 7,000. He looked like he did not want to put chips in the pot, but he felt like he had to because he was on the button. Uh, I have queen eight of diamonds. And in my head, queen eight was getting shown one way or the other. Okay. And so I made it 200. He had like 197. And he called me faster than I've ever been called in my life. And uh, when he called, I said, did you call? He said, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and I lost. He called me with ace, ten, off, six. Ace, ten, off. Okay, so is, what, what page of the book that you were teaching me you, for hybrid poker no, no, was that, Queen 8 suited? I got suited? that from you. you. I taught you the Queen 8 suited. 100%. Oh, my God. You need to from stop your listening class. to me. You need to stop <laughs> listening to me then. Because that's, that's a little much, bro. Play, play like a normal pure person for the rest of the way. Let's go. All right, guys. We're going to the last level of the night. 370,000. Average is 650. Uh, I just lost the pot to Adam Friedman in stud where I had tens and sevens on fifth and he had uh, two queens which were obvious going into the end and then I checked dark with an ace in the hole too he bet and I squeezed because I'm a sicko and it's a four across club which means I was 50-50 to have tens full I didn't pot is already huge I called with the tens and sevens and he made queens and eights on the end so hanging tough 370 to play 15 and 30 so we've got 10 11 12 over 12 big bets starting to get to where it's like a normal tournament type thing huh you want a picture yes, all right walk with me oh are you ready oh you get get that thing ready yes. and then once you got it okay vlog. yeah well you're on the vlog now oh that's what goodness. happens that happens okay you ready here we go what's up there you go Thank you, so Cheers, Thank you so much, guys. Yeah. So we got, thanks, man. Time. Appreciate it. We got one more level left. 100 minutes, which is an interesting number. And uh, yeah, 12, 12 big bets. As you know, we play three big bets. We feel good. 12 feel comfortable, but obviously now we're getting closer to, you know, the danger area. But we're gonna be okay. We're gonna finish with a nice, cool milli. How's that sound? One million chips. Be a proper vlog if we well, didn't hear from JRB today. Where's the sake bomb? Buddy. <laughs> it's in here somewhere. Where did, it go? Where did the sake bottle go? It was in here yeah, somewhere. I, I, I put it on the table, huh? He no, we did not. Why would he call? <laughs> you having fun, JRB? I was until he called me with the jacks. <laughs> what here we go. Is that? Who plays a hand like that? Who plays a hand like that? Just killed my whole buzz. Killed my whole buzz. He killed your whole buzz because he yeah, played he a hand. What did you do? You raised him 17 times, didn't you? What did I tell you about raising people 17 times? You can't do that. All right, on to another day of nine game mix. This is going to be our sixth consecutive day playing the great game. I'm having a blast. It's super fun. My favorite format. So many subtle things to it here and there. That last two hours, I don't. I didn't really play a hand. Like I really went through several of, of the orbits without putting in a single chip. So I ended a lot of chips off. Was down to 250 at one point, got back to four, and then I ended with 318. So we've got a starting stack and we get to start on day three. And we had two days of fun, right? Thanks bud. So in terms of stack size, what does it mean? So tomorrow the, uh, the limits will be 20 and 40,000. And I have 318. So that's eight big bets. You've heard me talk about big bets before and how when I have three and two, I still feel good. Like I have a chance, you know, all that kind of stuff. Well, eight's plenty. So eight, I mean, in the big bet games, it's kind of less, but either way, we've got maneuverability. Just have to like continue to be patient, wait for the rush because the rush will come. And when it does, we'll end up with all the chips. All right, guys, that's it for tonight. See you guys tomorrow. Drive safe. I know I'm going to because I'm sober. JRB, not so much.